Welcome to Eric Blackman Music. Two, three, four. Hi, and welcome to my tutorial on how to play the melody to the girl from Ipanema on guitar. The guitar is tuned standard E-A-D-G-B-E. At first, we'll just stick to the notes that make up the melody. Later on, we'll learn how to flavor the melody a little bit. Our first melody is going to sound something like this. To get started, we're going to move to the third fret and position our hand there with the first finger at the third fret. We'll play our first melody this way. We will be playing that twice and I'm just picking downward with my thumb. Just like that. We're going to be playing the 4th fret on the B string once, the 5th fret on the G string twice, moving down to the 3rd fret on the G string, back to the 4th fret on the B string, the G string 5th fret three times, down to the third fret on the G string. And that's our first melody, played twice. For our next melody, we'll move down to the first position, our first fret with the index finger, and play this. That was fret 2 on the B string, fret 3 on the G string three times, fret 1 on the G string, and then back to the B string, fret 1, the first fret on the G string, strike it three times. Then we'll take our pinky up to the fourth fret on the D string, strike it once, and then go back to the first fret on the G string and strike it once to end our phrase. So that was. And that was our verse melody. Now we're going to go to the bridge melody, which will sound something like this. Now for the bridge, we'll be playing a single riff and repeating it. It's going to sound like this. And then we'll move that riff up the neck. We're starting at the second fret and we're going to play the B string, third fret B string, back to the second fret, 4th fret, G string, B string, 2nd fret, G string, 4th fret, 2nd fret, back to the 4th fret. We'll take that same phrase up to the 5th fret on the B string, 
and play fret 5, fret 6, back to fret 5, fret 7 on the G string, fret 5 on the B string, fret 7 on the G string, fret 5 on the G string, back to fret 7. We'll raise that again and play the B string at the 6th fret, 7th fret, 6th fret, the G string, 8th fret, back to the B string, 6th fret, G string, fret 8, fret 6, and then back to fret 8. And we'll finish the bridge out with our next riff, which will go like this. We'll play this. On the E string, that was one, two, four. Moving to the G string, fret one, three, and then to the B string, one, two, four, and then open E. And for our finishing riff, we'll play So for that part, we'll play fret 1 on the high E string, fret 2, fret 4 on the D string, fret 1 on the G string, and fret 3 on the G string. And then we'll go to the B string and go to fret 1, 2, and 3. Both parts sound like this. And after that, we'll go back to our verse melody. Now for the ending, we'll be repeating just a few notes. And they're going to sound something like this. part, we're going to play this, and we'll be repeating that. That's the first fret on the G string, just playing it three times, then moving to the D string, fourth fret, and then back to the G string once. And we'll repeat that just a few times to end the song. Now, in order to flavor this solo just a little bit, we want to learn how to slide into the notes. For instance, when we start the verse melody, we might like to play something like this. In order to get that sound, I took my first finger, put it on the third fret on the B string, and hammered on the fourth fret like this and then continue with my melody. You can also slide into the note like this. And 
that's just sliding with one finger from one fret to the next. Like that. Strike it and slide into it. Or and you can do that with all the melodies. For instance, So that gives it a little bit of flavor. Well, all right. That's it for the melody solo to the girl from Ipanema. Thanks for stopping by and have a great day. Mm -hmm.